Jordan B. Peterson, a Canadian clinical psychologist and a former professor of psychology at the University of Toronto. He began to receive widespread attention in the late 2010s for his views on cultural and political issues. Author of 12 Rules for Life, published in 2018, and as of this recording, nearly 3 million subscribers on YouTube. So how in the world did he captivate a whole audience globally? We're about to break down the tips and tricks and methodology that Jordan uses. So you could go ahead and use them too. Let's get right into it. Although Jordan's initial rise to fame was due to controversy in the cultural political realm, he will not be able to sustain, especially on YouTube, if he didn't have an X Factor, a superpower. And I believe Jordan's superpower is to make people feel smarter than before his interaction. He does this in a variety of different ways. So as we watch this clip, I'm going to put in the text what exactly he is doing. So imagine you're dealing with someone who's hoarding. The phrase imagine, this is a phrase a lot of salespeople use. It subtly instructs you to access your creative side of the brain and listen for his cue or the speaker's cue. As he paints the picture, you are invested and present in the imagination. And now you both have a shared reality. There's a certain rapport being built between the speaker and the audience. You know, a dead mouse and, 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 there's boxes and boxes and boxes like that in the house. It's absolute chaos in there. Absolute chaos, not order. Chaos. And then you think, is that their house or is that their being? Is that their mind? And the answer is, there's no difference. The phrase, and you think to yourself. At this point, you're already in the shared reality. And now he has the ability to tell you what you are thinking. Whether you're thinking that or not, you adopt that because you are already in the position of accepting his cues. As a matter of fact, you're looking for his cues on what to imagine, what to think, what to see in your reality, which is the shared reality with the speaker, in this case, Jordan. And this doesn't work if the rapport isn't properly built. However, with Jordan, with his body language, eye targeting, and the way he speaks makes you really have strong rapport. Let's talk a little bit about that. So as you can see, he's using his hands quite a bit. He is a very handsy person, <laughs> so to speak. A little note on his hand gesture he likes to do palms up. And this works really well for Jordan because his ideas are a little bit out there initially. Because a palm up shows that you are open, you are friendly, you are non-threatening. It also allows the listener to feel like they are comfortable to be open and friendly and trusting as well. So in a way, he's using his hand gesture in order to influence open-mindedness in his classroom. And when he does that, he's also directly looking at a student's eye. I've said this in other videos on building rapport and how to speak on stage. You want to specifically look at somebody's eyes because even as a viewer who is watching the speaker looking at one person, you feel like you are that person being spoken too. So it is a great idea that he not only scans, but he dots on a specific person. He also does common traveling across the floor. So you can see that he goes back and forth from one side of the room to the other side of the room. You can also see that he loves to anchor at his podium, which makes sense because he is a professor, but anchoring is being stable. When he wants to make a specific point, he stops. He doesn't travel across the floor, he stops. And then he emphasizes certain things. In case I get any comments on this, he does have a secondary anchor which is his clicker. He's also notoriously known for his facial expressions. In another video, I did talk about how to use facial expressions in order to emphasize words, but Jordan Peterson has this down packed with his eyebrow raises. He not only does his eyebrow raise to emphasize words or a certain point, typically he dots somebody while he does this. It really is saying, hey, pay attention to this because this is important. I wanna get into the vocal tonality because Jordan really talks in a very specific matter, which makes his speaking style very recognizable. But let's take a listen first, and then I'll explain a little bit afterwards. To see me for psychotherapy, the easiest thing for us to do first would just be to get you to organize your room. 
You think, well, is that psychotherapy? And the answer is, well, it depends on how you conceive the limits of your being. If you have noticed, Jordan Peterson goes up and down in tonality and up and down in tonality, and it almost seems as if it is random. It makes you psychologically curious. You want to tune in, just like when everything's seemingly normal, and all of a sudden you hear a loud noise to the side. You tend to look at where that loud noise is coming from because it is out of the norm. It's the same reason why when somebody has an accent, then you tend to pay attention. Attention to it. This is the reason why monotone people are looked over. It is too freaking predictable. And because Jordan Peterson's language and tonality, most people are not used to it. It goes up and down seemingly at random and it makes you want to pay attention to what he is saying. So, a hundred adjustments to your broader domain of being, and there's a lot less rubbish and there's a lot less rubbish around and a lot fewer traps for you to step into. Now, if you're hearing this and thinking to yourself, well, okay, how does that apply to me? I would say go ahead and record yourself and see how you talk. Are you monotone? So you're always speaking in the same exact tonality and it's very, very boring. Or are you going up and down and slowing it down and then speeding it up? Or how are you varying your voice and your tonality in order to recaptivate people because it doesn't happen by accident. It just so happens to be that if this is an accent by Jordan Peterson from where he originally comes from. We as a society as a whole are not used to it and therefore we tend to want to tune in. Of course, it's not enough to just do body language and tonality and facial expressions and storytelling, but it's also watching your words, what you say. I have a whole playlist on watching your words. I do believe that words matter so much and as a professor, Jordan really understands this. And this is how he makes people feel feel like they are smarter and well off and they have gotten value after interacting with him or listening to him is the ability of him explaining complex words, phrases, or ideas into simple words, phrases, or ideas, or combining intellectual uncommon words with simple common words. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is that he'll say things like, Assuming a minimal mutual willingness to be in contact and to receive communications. And then he'll also flip around and say things like, Okay, we're having a conversation. I'm deciding I'm going to listen to you. The powerful thing about this is that if you do too much uncommon intellectually based words, you actually break rapport unless your audience knows every single word. However, when you use simple common words that you are sure that everybody is bound to know, you are building rapport back up again. And I'm talking about rapport here because rapport is very essential to whether a person is going to listen to you or not listen to you. Jordan breaks rapport by using intellectual words, phrases, and ideas, but then he builds it back up with the simple words, phrases, and ideas. So on top of the fact that as a listener, you feel smarter because he does the dance, the combination, the art form of using both uncommon and common words, and Jordan also being mindful of that. This elevates Jordan as the teacher. Obviously, he is a professor, so he is in fact teaching. But when you're talking to people, you can either become the condescending person who's trying to use big words all the time and speaking down on somebody because you're not explaining it ever, or you can explain it in very simple words in a teacher format. And that's also going to elevate you to people thinking, hey, this is somebody I can actually learn from. It's the reason why people are so afraid to listen to other people because somehow they feel like it invalidates them in some way. This is a beautiful, perfect example of how to give information, give knowledge, give wisdom without invalidating anything that the person, the listener already knows or knows to be true. So it's not saying you're wrong and I'm right. It's saying that you are right and I'm right. It's a win-win partnership. So especially if you are using bigger words or words that you know to be fairly uncommon or words that are specifically in your industry and so the common person might not know those words, always be mindful of that and explain or repeat it again in simple common words, in simple common phrases. Or using metaphors is another good way to do it. 
that's how people get so addicted to his contents because they genuinely feel a lot smarter after listening to Jordan. Comment below, let me know if you feel that's true because I certainly feel a lot more smarter after listening to Jordan. I feel a lot more fulfilled, like my brain was just jabbed in with knowledge. Again, I said this in the beginning, but I believe that is Jordan's superpower and not many people and not many speakers are able to do this even if they tried. So that's it on the breakdown of Jordan B. Peterson. Comment below, please let me know an emoji of a lobster, <laughs> please an emoji of a lobster if you loved today's content. I'd like to do more breakdowns like this. This was so much fun for me because I love listening to Jordan Peterson and just everything that he's saying is fantastic. Again, I have his stuff in the description if you want to check him out. But also if you want me to do more videos like this in the Speak Like series or another Jordan Peterson breakdown or if you have a suggestion on somebody specific, just let me know and then I'll definitely consider it. I'll put it in my community poll so you better subscribe to me and hit that bell button, hit the all button so you'll be notified on my next video and as per usual everybody go out there and raise your vibe